I find that if I simply start toward the canvas, fi canvas figuratively speaking, to, to do something just for technical reasons, it usually doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Just to do a figure that looks more real or, or looks more uh, structured uh, doesn't doesn't work. For me, I have to have a motive, and those motives are either you know, is it religious or political, etc. I want when someone looks at my work that they can see it, that they can see it with their third eye. Not just, oh, that's nice, or that's pretty, or that's beautiful, or whatever. But that they can really see that the artist put himself into his work. Images that people, that, 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 that inspire people. Painting, uh, for example, the dancer in green, doing that painting with the colors and, and um, the light and, and the movement. Um, and basically to have people uh, uh, inspired by it. I, I found that racism is a terrible human disease. And uh, is it the only curing through the disease is through art. And art is everything. Uh, for example, I work with children. And they went together. They're so beautiful. They don't see color. Or, I believe in the future, like my friend said. He believes in the future because I get him lost. You should be a part of And... Um, I was influenced by some of the things that he did, which were not traditional. They were, uh, he would take the traditional forms and break them up into abstract forms. Usually I paint for photographs because I like to be realistic. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'll take a photograph or I'll use somebody else's photograph. And when I see something that visually inspires me, and I use that as a basis. Mm -hmm. I usually work in a narrative format, so I guess storytelling and telling a time or seeing it um, in a moment and or just kind of probably making my work humanistic. Of course, my mother, too, and, and uh, she liked art very much, and I think she has so much to do with me developing myself in the world of art. And of course, since I was a kid, that's all I did was draw, draw, draw all the time. And and she saw this, you know. And my mother really encouraged me to to follow my dreams in that area. I started my art career as a photographer. Uh, in doing the portraits, I recognized the influences of African mass. I later uh, transitioned from um, photography to stained glass. Uh, because there wasn't enough tactile uh, activity in photography for me. I was just aware of a lot of things going on, and I became interested in photography because, because I had seen what other photographers in the past had done and to document things, and I just wanted to kind of document my own time, things happening, uh, significant things in my own time. So particularly with the uh, late, late civil rights movement, social changes, and then I got quite involved in things re regarding uh anti-war movements right on up to uh, the anti-Iraq war. Try to depict, uh, you know, uh, you know, black people, African people, you know, in a, a better light than they've been uh, portrayed, uh, you know, uh, throughout the history, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've uh, experienced the negativity uh, of, uh, of life, and so I wanted to, you know, like, correct things. I mean, I, I grew up watching Ninja Turtles, so uh, I became interested in artists trying to learn about uh, the names of the actual Ninja Turtles, which were Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and that sort of pushed me into making art. Oh, great. That's cool. About my heritage, my growing up in Brooklyn, and my dance career, I think what really motivates me um, out of those three things the most is movement. Um, I love... You know, I call myself a choreographer on canvas, so anything I do has movement in it. And um, it's like I've taken that whole um, genre and transferred it to canvas and paper. I hope that people understand that we're all here in the sense that humanity means everybody. And that we, we have to learn how to, to get along respect each other, and try for a peaceful solution to whatever our issues are.
everything in life motivates me. It's a daily experience. I would hope that my work touches people and that they are moved by the emotions that I feel while I'm doing the work. Um, it's all about truth, who I am, who I've become, and who I hope to be. Even though my focus tends to be issues relative to African Amer the African American experience or or African American life, you know, I don't exclude um, African American culture or history from the greater narrative of American um, culture and history. I think that it's one and the same. My motivation is, is still uh, my spiritual sense and uh, the culture. It's, it's energy. It's, it comes from uh, the ancestors. It comes from uh, our spiritual sense. It, it comes from nature. It, it comes from all the good things that that is.